Yeah, we here to talk. We here to talk. Now we here to talk about DJ Academics. Now, you already know. That's well, my pioneer, if you will. I'm not gonna say he the pioneer of commentary news, but he the pioneer. That's that's my goat. You know what I'm saying? He is an influence. I appreciate him. But as much as I appreciate him, gang. I don't know what's going on. So last time we spoke about Eck, I was talking about allegedly him, um, his girlfriend Shay Glizzy, which that's a wild name. Pause no diddy. But anyway, she kind of exposed them some text messages and I thought they were over. Now I don't know if they 100 percent over. I hope they stop dealing with each other. Or at least he keeps their shit off the internet. Cause at this point, gang, listen. I don't know what's going on with you and that girl, but clearly, bro, she ain't good for you. The chat and everybody else been saying. Hey, yo, you got to stop dealing with that girl. Or at least make it less public. But for whatever reason, they stunned her. Now, if you finally broke up with her, hey, kudos. Clap it up, clap it up. Hopefully, y'all done. If not, it what it is. Once the you stop breaking shit, and the police even try to take her away. When you say to the police, you ain't even trying to press charges, and they're arguing with your ass, bro, you know there's a problem. But we ain't here to talk about that today. Now, if you remember, there was another scenario, basically. An act told this story. I don't, I don't remember if it was on his stream or he posted a video on his, like, main channel or whatever the fuck it was but boom um basically saying like oh shawty came to the crib he went to some party i think it was ab antonio brown's party um he invited a girl over he got too drunk anyways whatever have you they uh his homeboys i don't know if he made it to the bed anyways he passed out fucking drunk the girl came to the crib she uh she was kicking it with his homeboys his homeboys allegedly graped her you know r-worded her you know what i'm saying without her consent or whatever or they was having fun at the time. That's what he assumed. Act woke up, seen the footage, seen, oh, they was smashing. Well, first he went outside, seen there was like some stuff was outside of its regular place around the pool area. Looked at the video, seen, oh, y'all was smashing or whatever. Tried to talk to the girl about it, like, what the fuck you doing? Kind of slut shaming her, if you will. And she didn't really think too much of it. Later on, she was saying like, oh, she wasn't in her right mind, yada, yada, yada. They took advantage of her, yada, yada, yada. Basically, after that, then insinuated that those two people yet yeah, took advantage of her, whoever they are. Their names have not been revealed. Act hasn't revealed the other people's names yet. Also insinuating after that happened, Act allegedly, whatever room she was in, Act woke up and defiled her as well and R worded her as well. And this whole lawsuit in case came out. Now, when that did happen and he did tell the story, I was like, I kind of believe Act because some of this shit you telling, bro. Number one, if you're telling a story, bro, this n he just made himself look that horrible in the story. If you're trying to tell a story and make yourself look good like you got no faults, you go and try to make yourself or represent yourself in a positive way. But no, he still kind of looked horrible. So I'm like, so why is this nigga lying even though he still looks bad? That's number one. And then number two, if, like I said, like when the authorities, wherever he stay, I think New Jersey, wherever he stay, came to investigate him, this happened like a couple months ago or I would say close to six months, seven months ago, and still nothing has happened. Brody still ain't in locked up. It's like, oh, well, there isn't too much validity there. Now, I don't know if she tried to contact him to get the names of the other gentlemen. I don't know how well she knows the other gentlemen. I don't fucking know. And he's not really saying the names. So that part of it, we're not really going to touch on. But basically, I don't know if she filed one, but he was hit with a, a defamation and R word case. So we're going to talk about it a little bit. <coughs> so academics is facing some serious allegations according to a new report from rolling stone academics is being sued for grape and sa and defamation the lawsuit was filed by a woman named uh fazia zaya zia abashi i hope i said your name right i i i, I didn't but no disrespect previously the two had a brief relationship in 2021 after they met through the internet however after not having not seen each other for over a year uh zia claims academics invited her to her house in new jersey on july 16 2022 this happened a year bro it's 2024 this happened that long ago okay uh because i remember him telling this story of late unless bro i just got the times mixed up and my mind is going somewhere i'm gonna check whenever i put out that video at the end but anyways um Zaya goes on to recount some truly disturbing allegations. She said, uh, she explains when she got to access two of his friends allegedly drugged her and then raped her on his pool deck subsequently at 4 a.m. Okay, yeah, basically this was explaining. Academics was uh, allegedly pulled, pull, pulling her hair, prying open her legs, and brutally raping her. 
From there, um, Zaya alleges that academics uh, showed her surveillance footage of what happened on the pool deck the same morning. In text messages, academics allegedly told Zaya to get tested and that he would too. Overall, the lawsuit claims this is proof that the two had um, unprotected sex. Also, this is my one thing. So the text messages came out. I think I read them in the other video. I did, right? Y yeah, you could say he slut shamed her, if you will, and it wasn't a really disrespectful way to talk to her but with some of the text messages as well bro like some of that shit bro you would if a motherfucker really defiled you and did some fuck shit to you yeah you could have been out of it but if a motherfucker really did some fuck shit to you like that bro then like you know what i'm saying if a person really did some fuck shit to you like that bro you would have just stopped talking to them not really responding to them but she was talking to, to them normal now you could say maybe that's just we can't really say how a person should act or react to certain things that happens to them but at the same time it's like oh if a, if a motherfucker defiled you like that like you ain't gonna have this very platonic conversation y'all niggas was having and before we even get back into reading this you know everybody going against the meek mill has some shit to say i think freddie gabe's has some shit to say about it it is what it is you know the whole act eight training Again, don't get me wrong. I get academics is not like that. I think he does his job. He's cool people. Now, some of the shit he was he was copping please about for Drake. We know I know he's he, that's biased and Drake is his favorite artist. Some of that shit he was copping please to. I was like, all right, like, you doing a little too much. But besides that, besides that, like besides Drake stuff, because he's biased. Yeah, he's pretty much sound in my opinion. But yeah, oh yeah, Saucy so Santana was taunting him for whatever reason. And yeah, so overall, it's like. This is the thing, right? And I say this in a lot of these videos. If you watch my videos, if not, like and subscribe. Help your boy. I help your boy grow. You know what it is. Um, a lot of the time when these allegations come, I just need more proof than a woman just coming out and saying, "Oh, he did something to me." Don't get me wrong. Again, I'm not saying motherfuckers ain't scum. I'm not saying that at all. But I will say this: a lot of the time we just go off of oh. She's a woman. Let's just believe. Like, bro, we can't have that mind state for everybody because some girls is out here shysty. We still all seen the Selena Powell situation that she lied to say that Offset, what's it called, impregnated her and she was keeping her up this charade for so long until like a couple of months later on, she finally came out like, okay, I don't have a kid. I was lying. My homegirl was pregnant. I took up, you know, I peed on a stick, yada, yada, yada. And now, what's it called? Yada, 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 to show I'm pregnant. I'm not really pregnant. I was sitting getting pregnant. And she was doing all that little extra shit. So it was like, I'm not saying this girl, um, Zaya or Zia, or however you say her name, is of that type of ilk. But, bro, with motherfuckers like that, bro, I can't just sit here and be like, oh, you are 100% telling me, like, bro. Some of, so, hey, some of y'all are shysty. But anyways, it's really shit. And, like, bar none, we have seen it happen to regular dudes. Famous dudes that, you know, some, some girls is vindictive. You know, some bullshit. And I read somewhere, I think, or I was watching a, a video, a reporter D. If you know, you know. Shout out D Chanel. But, um, what's it called? I think Brody not even really trying to go to the trial. He trying to settle this shit. But anyways, as Rolling Stone reports, uh, Zia got a rape kit, which showed traces of academic steam. So you're telling me in that night or roughly 24 hours, three dudes allegedly were inside of you. You did the deed with three dudes. How do you 100% know they academics DNA? Where did you get that nigga DNA in the first place to compare and contract? Or they just know it? Ha no. Hey, listen, I don't know nobody that got a rape kit, so I'm ignorant. So, hey, if the, hey <laughs> let me know if there's some bullshit, some mumbo jumbo they do. Furthermore, the police had her do a wired phone call with the media personality where he went into detail about their legend encounter however zia eventually decided not to press charges and leave things the b that said this situation went viral at the end of 2023 thank you okay as clips emerged on social media additionally academics went on a stream and said that he was asleep when his friends had relations with her he also said he never did anything that he never did anything in that everything was consensual. This led to her suing academics for defamation, for accusing her of 
voluntarily having an orgy with his friends at his home while maintaining that he never participated in it. At the same time, academics has not responded to these allegations. Or I think he has responded. Yes, yeah, sir, I'm late on this show. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nigga, I've been busy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, then Ad gets mad. He goes on a rant on his streams. Like, we'll all take down the industry because, like I said, Meek Mill and all these other niggas was saying some shit about it. Let me tell you about everyone in the industry. If Ad goes down, y'all go down with me because I hold no secrets for nobody, X said. As we reportedly reported yesterday, academics also insinuated that Rock Nation CEO Desiree Perez could be involved in all of this. Moreover, he took shots at Tyrone Blackburn. Oh, it's Tyrone Black. Oh, yes. That's what I forgot. Tyrone Black. I really got to put out that Diddy video. I really do. I have an old Diddy video that I don't want to put up because it's like a month old, but fuck yeah, I'm going to just throw it up anyways. Um, yeah, Tyrone Blackburn is behind a lot of this shit. He's representing Little Rod in the, Little Rod in the Diddy case. The Grace, the girl that allegedly King Combs did something with. He's also representing her. He represents people against Nicki Minaj, yada, yada. Even though the Kenneth Petty one... I think there's some validity there. But besides that, and also he represented the people against T.I. when they said T.I. and Tiny was doing some stuff to women. With that being said, that motherfucker a little shysty. Listen, I get he a lawyer to the point the judge told him to step away from celebrity cases. He uses the media to sway public um, discourse in a way that maybe the artist might not want to go to trial and they'll just fucking... Um, just set or whatever so he could get his money it's a big profile case it probably adds to his reputation yada 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 so again he's a little shysty again see the only thing with diddy is some of that shit is probably true i'm not gonna lie just because of the cassie again the person i mostly believe is cassie so the diddy one i'm like eh. but everybody else i'm like yeah you tweaking a little bit the diddy one i might like hey that motherfucker little rod might be lying a little bit i do think diddy did not pay that nigga publishing but that nigga might be lying a little bit, but certain aspects of it, I could believe that nigga did that shit. I ain't gonna lie. But with that being said, yeah, that nigga shysty too. So yeah, it, it explains him taking shots at him, who's the lawyer of this case. Blackburn is involved the other lawsuits, like Diddy, yeah. And academics has been very, very critical of him. Of course, allegations of conspiracy remain uh, unfound until further noted. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Saucy Santana, this and him. There's a lot happening with this, bro. I missed a lot. So I'm just trying to find everything. Get y'all up to date or whatever. Yeah, that's right. That's it. I think that's it. Oh my god. I hate when my phone does this shit, bro. Sorry about it. Um yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, this was some other show when Ak was going against Meek. Yeah, academics said big big institutions are out to get him. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the retelling. All I really got to say about this now, again, I'm not going to say this girl's lying. Because, again, I wasn't there. I don't fucking know what happened. But I will say this, right? Now, I've seen a picture going around of some shit in the lawsuit. Of people, y'all could go find that shit. Like, but anyway, I ain't going to put that in here because this some, like, real shit. Hey, I'm not that much. I'm going through the paperwork. If you want a channel for that, there's other channels that do it. Um, There's, like, a picture of Shorty. Now, again... <laughs> I don't know how y'all motherfuckers have relations. If you was, like, drugged and, like, she said she was drugged and, like, she was, like, kind of unconscious. She wasn't really doing nothing. You kind of be flat and lifeless, you know, just laying flat if you were. Shawty kind of had a little arch. Her legs were, she was putting her leg. You know, in my opinion. In my opinion. So, again, I'm not going to sit here and be like, Shawty was, you know what I'm saying? So, again, I don't know. I don't know how conscious she was. I was not over there. But it seems she was kind of aware of what was going on, in my opinion. The poolside area. Now, again, with the thing of Ak allegedly doing something to her, I think she did a video that said that, yeah, them, them two other people was not the only people. You also did something to Well, and honestly, if Brody doesn't go to court, bro, you could settle. But at this point, this is what it showed me. As much as I do fuck with academics, like, we say this all the time. Like, again, I just think when you get a lot of money, niggas get bored. I do fuck with academics. He is, like, an inspiration to me. But, nigga, like, again, everybody partakes. You go to parties. You have a good time. You know, you throw it back perfectly fine. I ain't mad at you for doing it. But, nigga, at this point, bro, if you get in situations like this, some of the girls you dealing with is breaking your shit. Like, yo, bro, 
find yourself a, just a regular girl, like a nine to five girl. I'm not saying it won't be crazy, but like clearly, bro, this internet fame, bro. I just don't know if you don't know how to move or what is happening. Cause clearly some of these women that you have in your life is just on some fuck shit, nigga. And the criteria you look for, bro, you got to look for a different criteria. It's fine, bro. It's fine. What is he? Like what? 35 or something? <laughs> That's my nigga too. His birthday just passed. Happy birthday, Dad. Boy, he like 32, 33. Bro, you got time, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? Later around, like, don't go after this typical girl. Yeah, we all like the fire shorties, you know, the shorties that, you know, throw it back. Well, you don't wife them shorties. You keep it pushing. You get your note off and keep it pushing. There's a shuffle pass. There's a chest pass. You hear me? Like, we playing NBA. <coughs> pass it to the next man. Now, all jokes aside, definitely you got to sit down a little bit. Stop ingesting copious amounts of alcohol if that happened to me bro i'm not saying i'm never gonna drink again but clearly bro you gotta set yourself a limit bro enough enough even sometimes when he goes on stream and he blacks out he does the rant and it's funny and yada 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 it's like bro that's all fine and dandy when you're home you're streaming that's cool privacy of your own home but clearly you doing this, going to a party, getting that drunk and this transpiring with all your not bro, that shit cannot happen again. There's limits, bro. You got you gotta take that shit down. Stop doing all that shit, bro. And we say it for health purposes, bro. That nigga, hey, listen, God, hey. And then you gotta stop drinking, my nigga. <laughs> not stop, but like clearly tone it the fuck now. Ridiculousness. And that's my man's too, but clearly he has to set a limit to his drinking. But other than that, I'm not going to sit here and be like, yo, it's just 100% definite he did some shit. It is what it is. I will say this, bro. If those two allegedly did do something to her, I don't know how cool act is with them people. And I understand he doesn't want to get involved. But sadly, if they did do something, it happened at your crib, nigga. You is involved at the end of the day. It is what it is, bro. It is. But yeah, man, we just got to wait and see exactly what happens with this shit. I'm not just going to see him crucify him. I'm going to need a little bit more information. I just don't know. Again. And then, plus, now, if I had no knowledge of this at all, I'd probably come here like, yo, act, you doing too much? But clearly, I did a video on this before when it came out, so it is what it is. And at this point, I'm just fucking rambling. I'm just talking and getting my shit off. But act, you just got to move back. Nigga, relax with the drinking. Relax. You doing too much out here. Like, really sit down. You know, I fought with him. Hey, I am a chat nigga. Nigga didn't inspire me. Shit, even in this YouTube channel, but hey, I gotta keep it a book, bro. You gotta chill out, bro. At least if you don't chill out on the drinking, bro. You cannot pass out and have random niggas doing who knows what in your house. Written no. I don't give a fuck how much you trust these niggas, bro. Because clearly you got some sort of trust into them, and this episode happened, bro. Can't be doing this shit. Besides all that, man, what do y'all feel? Comment down below. Links in the description. Y'all think you're guilty or you not? Let's go. It's too long anyways. I thank you for giving me your time. I'm gone. Slimes on P-Shows, guy. All right.